football season is just around the corner, and that means practice is already in session. Inside the prep zone tonight, I visited a first-year program with so many promising prospects. Y'all ready? Begin! One, two, three. Some new Tigers are in town. Tigers in training, we are at the school program first and foremost, where we focus on um, academics and athletics. So we're looking to give our kids confidence in the classroom okay, and on okay. the field through physical activity. Coach Nico Heron is a former Bulldog with a focus on giving back to the Central Valley. Fresno is the heart of the Valley, it's the heart of California. So I feel like at Fresno, you can touch all parts of California. Everybody fall in! Fall in! TNT coaches kids from kindergarten to eighth grade. The key thing about uh, capturing somebody when they're young is we, when you get somebody as a child, you typically have them for the rest of their life. So are y'all ready to go? Let's go! Yeah, we're running, we're running Cali. Best part about this program is helping kids that grew up how I grew up. We were in a lower income community, um, a lot of um, single parent households. A lot of my uh, mentoring and training came from outside my bloodline. Unfortunately, love of the game does not cover costs. You'll be amazed how expensive football is, from helmets and shoulder pads to even practice equipment and bags, from water alone. Typically on, on this side of town, we have three teams. Right now we are funding five teams plus cheer. Five. All help with the Tigers is on a volunteer basis. TNT started a GoFundMe to help get its first year program off the ground. We are looking to extend our range and make it a whole community effort. We're looking to bring in all of Fresno, not just West Fresno, not just coaches, but we want to bring in the entire 559. We are here today raising tomorrow. You can find more information about the Tigers in training program and a link to their GoFundMe on our website at kmph.com. The Tigers have their first games on August 21st at Edison High School.